Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Reload and I have not been able to play for a week and it's been miserable. But work has been crazy busy so I'm really happy to be back here. I've got a long weekend because of President's Day. This will kind of date how uh, far ahead I'm recorded right now, but... <laughs> um, yeah, I guess is here. Look at this. Lisa, these are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall remain by your side at all times. She's still far from passing as a human. It doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings and conversation yet. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. Alright, you see... Is there something you'd like to know about Igus? Yeah, where are the others? That has nothing to do with Igus. Oh, the other anti-shadow weapon. Okay, I didn't understand that either. <laughs> I assume you were referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. Well, there were quite a few created. You could say they were Igus' siblings. However, they were all destroyed ten years ago in the incident. I guess has been quite lonely since then. You gave your robots emotions. Well, about that. A lot of people are joining the team, huh? Big difference from a while back. Nicely done. An anti-shadow weapon that will be a most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are useless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, the souvenir from Yakushima is Trebian. Okay, she doesn't want to go to Tartarus tonight. Everyone seems worn out. You must be exhausted too, vernacular coon. And yet I'm still gonna go out and hang out with somebody all night. She looks like a normal girl as long as she doesn't do anything too weird, but if she does, do you think anyone will figure out that she's actually a robot? Well, maybe not. Most people probably aren't on the lookout for undercover robots. I mean, that's kind of true. She's, uh, super cute, huh? She's super cute, but... but made out of steel. Uh, it's new territory for me. Honestly, I don't know how to approach this. <laughs> Alright, somebody told me that I should be checking the fridge. I didn't even know we could do this. There's a bit of space. I don't have anything I want to chill. Okay. I have no idea what the fridge is for. I checked the fridge. There you go. Um, let's see. We should be able to get sodas. Oh, never mind. When did we leave? I guess we only spent like four days at, um, on the island or whatever. Yakushima. Is Yaku- I don't even know what or where Yakushima is, so. I don't actually think it's an island. I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged and nur nurtured. Here, it may not be much, but this is my gift to you. Please accept it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, are where are we at with requests? Request? Uh, oh yeah, the ocean one. Bring something you find Let's from the ocean. The it seems you've completed a request. I see you're carrying something related to the ocean. May I have one? The pretty seashell is probably the correct one. Seaweed, wood, and a crab? Probably not the right thing. Oh my! What a beautiful shell. I profess it is deeply moving knowing that something so enchanting was sculpted by nature. How splendid! Thank you. Because of your stories and your lovely souvenirs, I was able to experience the ocean myself. Please take this as your reward. Okay, couple amethysts. All right, 50 personas. Chilled Taiyaki. Oh, yeah, we still have to... Did we actually do the online portion of that? I think we did. Perhaps we just have to wait to go back to there school. There may come a day when you complete the Persona Compendium. Defeat the Rare Shadow in the third block and bring back one Rustic Coin. Okay, so we'll be able to do that next time we go in, which we'll maybe be doing relatively soon. And the fourth document. Yeah, so we still need to do our run. Very well then. I fucking love this song. Let's see, is it just you, Mutatsu? I mean, Monk? We don't know his name yet. <laughs> well, I know his name. It's definitely not Mutatsu. <laughs> um, okay. 
Here's the thing, we still have to get to what, level 32 before we can... Before we can do his his stuff standard? Because I think, I think 32 is when we could fuse Elagor. And we're level 28. Okay, during our next run we'll be able to hit that, I think. So maybe we will do that soon so that we can start Mutatsu's stuff, but I think... I think tonight we can work on a stat. Charm? Why not? Oh. I request that you wake up. <laughs> Hello, I guess. You have successfully awakened. Mission complete. My alarm clock. It has not triggered yet. <laughs> five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall. So I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. Girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Can you help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. Huh? Alright, so our new toaster is going to be our alarm clock now. I guess? When did you I entered while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get faster. That's unlawful entry. <laughs> Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. The problem? Well, it's probably against dorm regulations for one. Look, don't just stand there, tell her. She's a robot. You can stay here. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know she's not allowed in here. She's a robot. It's like having an extra computer in your room. Okay, look. <laughs> she's my alarm clock. I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, well, I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. <sighs> Sup? So freaking hot today. So, I've been thinking. After we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Maybe things will be a little bit more peaceful? Huh? Well, yeah, but... Well, regular people don't even know about the dark hour to begin with, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. I mean, I get it'd be a huge problem if they did, but... It just kinda sucks, you know? I understand the sentiment. You're doing a lot to help people, and you'll never be recognized for it. That would kind of suck. Hey, the exam results are up. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Is four enough for this test, or did we need to get five? Because right now our academics is only at rank four, and I don't know if that was enough. We're going to find out. I scored the highest in my grade. Yes! Everyone is looking at me with respect. Okay, oh, I was so worried that we didn't have enough. Yeah, give me that charm. Let's max that thing out. Well, come to think of it, Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. I should talk to Mitsuru when I see her. Lunchtime is almost over. I should get back to class. Alright, top of the grade. I'm, I want to keep that number one spot. Class has ended for the day. It seems like the average score went down this time. I guess that's good for me, though. But honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I think I could have scored about 20 points higher. 
I'll have to study harder during vacation. Yeah, I may have messed up your curve. By being awesome. Summer sucks, man. I sweat so much my shirt gets drenched. I guess I did okay again, but I better do some studying over summer vacation. Dude, I was trying to pick up some chicks the other day at the station, but it didn't go as planned. It's hard when a girl has a guard up, huh? Maybe a more honest approach would work better. Always, dude. Always. Alright, what do you have to say about Mitsuru today? This will be called the pretend like I was just walking and when Kurija Senpai comes out, I'll get close to her strategy. That's my plan, but I'm all nervous now. <sighs> I know I'm overthinking this. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, on my list right now, I have Chariot and Emperor as the ones that uh, aren't ready to progress right now. I do have Chariot. I don't currently have Emperor. So I could try and progress Chariot if I wanted to. Um, we could hang out with Bebe today, I think. I have Temperance, right? I do not have Temperance. Okay, that's right. I think we fused Temperance out at one point. All right, and then who else do we have? Kenji? Ugh. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> All right, first things first, though. Let's go and talk to Mitsuru. Oh yeah, and we need to see about that cold Taiyaki. Maybe I should ask about the rumors of the white white Taiyaki I read on the oh, website. Yes. Oh, white Taiyaki? It's our long-awaited new product that's uh, getting rave reviews. I got so many requests from students that I started bringing them in every day. And you know what? It's a big hit. Sorry, I'm starting Take to ramble. Time, anyway, around. this white Taiyaki is delicious even if you chill it in the fridge at home. There we go. So that's what I'm supposed to use the fridge for? So try it out. Lukewarm Taiyaki can now be bought at the school store. See you. Sorry, I'm talking too much, aren't I? So what would you like to buy? Okay. A white fish-shaped cake that tastes better after cooling in the refrigerator. So you have to do like multiple steps with this. I'm gonna buy... I don't know why, but I'm gonna buy three because I feel like after we chill it, it might turn into something useful. <laughs> What? I don't know, but... Okay. Uh, Mitsuru's not here today, so we'll have to check with her some other day. And then tonight I need to remember to put the Taiyaki away. Oh! Hello there, Vernacoon. We don't have any club activities today, so what brings you here? Whenever I look around the school, I always see a few students who look unwell. Hopefully they're just lacking sleep, but there's a chance they could actually be sick, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get carried away. Just keep an eye on your health as well, okay? You got it, buddy. You got it. Some people are boycotting the decision to cut down the tree. I guess they want to try its pers- 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 I never know how to say that. Persimmons. I think that's the correct way. Nah, there must be another reason. Okay. Ooh, the old couple. And it looks like we also have Moon. Let's see, are we on nine for that? Let's see, first off, we have here a font. Social link. Yeah, we're gonna max it out. Let's do it. If you drink a whole bowl of Hagakure soup, you can see the word win at the bottom. If you trace those letters with your chopsticks, I hear it makes you stronger in fights. The used bookstore, Bookworms. I feel as if we can grow closer thanks to the Hirafont Persona Shisa. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger even if I- ooh, okay. So, they're not ready yet, but they're so close. Alright, do we do it anyway? We do it anyway. I wonder. Don't you think so, Analog Chan? <laughs> oh, you. 
I can feel my bond with the two of them grow stronger as we spend time together. I feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. It's almost dark. Head back to the dorm. Alright, we're gonna be maxing out another one pretty soon here. Welcome back. Hi, how was your day? By the way, how do you fare in your exams? Honestly? More than not too shabby. <laughs> well, that's great news. I'm happy for you. That reminds me, Kurijo Senpai was top of her class again. I mean, where does she find the time? She's unreal. I was top of my class, too. Excuse me. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Uh, dude, those freaks with apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, uh, I mean the lost. I mean, I feel bad for the victims and all, but seriously, it's like there's no end to them. That's a negative. Technically speaking, there is an end to them. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the dark hour will vanish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, what you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. <laughs> you would take that message. So, let's see. I guess is, in fact, a part of the team now. Okay, that's what I wanted to check. Leader. Analog son. I have a question. When you attend your institution of schooling, what kind of emotions do you feel? Nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. Can't you see my blank face? I am a main character in a Persona game. I barely have a personality. I feel nothing. I have a theory. My apologies, but it is inaccurate to categorize school as nothing. Why don't we do some counseling? Now open your mouth wide. Wait, what? <laughs> What does that have to do with counseling? Huh? Uh, exam scores? Dude, I don't, I don't care about that. Defeating shadows is more important than getting good grades. Any time spent studying could be used to go to Tartarus and... Look. Don't get carried away, Iori. You should still study. You can learn from defeat. That's something that goes for our battles against shadows as well. You tell him. Oh. Hey, you saw that the exam results were posted today, today right? It's great if you did well, but even if you didn't, try not to worry too much. With everything that's been going on, I'm sure you did the best you could. Oh. Oh, vernacular. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Oh, we don't have to do this during the day. Cool. Yeah, in Portable, you had to talk to her at school in order to get your reward. Excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our... <coughs> extracurricular activities. Okay. Oh, somebody else told me in comments that these incenses are not actually for your persona, it's for your party members. Which I don't think has been the case in most other persona games. Tell me if I'm wrong about that, but I think uh, the incenses have usually been for your persona. Uh, but I guess in this game they're not. Since I placed at the top in the exams, I also got this Mega Master Band. Very nice. Okay. So let's see about the incense real quick. Um, I guess it's in consumables. Maybe? Yeah, okay. It can be used on an ally's persona. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll have to start thinking about who to put those on. Power would be great for Junpei and Aki, I feel like. I guess two, probably. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about that. Don't need to decide right now. Oh, that reminds me. It must be difficult for you to balance combat and studies. I should do more to help you all. Perhaps summer school would be beneficial. Well, let's wait and see how the others did. Um... Can I help you? Oh, right. Kirijo Senpai is incredible. She scored so well in her exams, even though so much has been happening. She can filter out all distractions and focus on the task at hand. I wish I could do that, too. Okay. So, we need to put this in the fridge, apparently. There's a bit of space. I have lukewarm taiyaki. Should I chill it? I should remember to give it to Elizabeth sometime tomorrow or later. Indeed. Um, no, we haven't rolled into a new week or anything, so... It's 
been a while since I told you I'd return the favor. It's about time for me to pay up, so meet me in front of Iwa Todai Station. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hang out with him then. Okay. Man, I gotta be careful about that. Like, I wonder if I've missed any of these simply because I didn't check my messages at night. Hmm. That might be something I need to be careful about. I guess it would show up here? Yeah. Okay. So I'd still see it on the map. Now is this one for Tanaka? No, it's from uh it's for the monk. Alright. So since those are marked, that probably means that I haven't missed any of these events. Which is good. Yeah. Oh, vernacular. Well, today's the day I finally return the favor. Are you free? Should I spend the evening with Sonata? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go. All right. This time, let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Future battles, huh? What's wrong, Aki? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first. Let's get some food. Hey, what's going on? Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. Oh, here we go again. Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up-and-coming boxer, that it? And you know about this? And you still came back? Alright, bro. It's your death. Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. <laughs> Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Champ or not, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. Dude. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to offer up this as an option. He shouldn't have to fight him to begin with. But I'm still going to say it. Take him one-on-one. -on -one. See how it goes. Boxers are tough, ain't they? What? You can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him, though, pipsqueak. See? We're reasonable, right? <laughs> you said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll too? <laughs> okay, after what we just saw with Yukari, that's gonna hit close. Looks like a fight is going to break out. I have to do something. So, you wanna go first or what? Get back. Hey, officer. Over here. Are you shitting me? Get back here! Hey! Nobody runs away from us! <laughs> <sighs> Running away is easy enough. It's losing them that's the hard part. Still, meant for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. That was a little bit close for comfort. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. But it doesn't matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. They weren't gonna play fair anyway. It's addressed to me. It says it contains... Fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. Oh. I'll take it to my room later. Man, it's rare to hear about anybody's parents in most Persona games. They just don't come up that often. <laughs> Your parents? Especially in this game. Yeah. My foster parents that adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. But it sounds like they're doing well. 
I don't think I ever knew that he was adopted. I wonder if maybe that's information that other people knew? Like, I wonder if maybe, like, the arena games or something may have gone into that? Or maybe I just, uh, missed something in the base game. I appreciate how much they care, but this is a little too generous. Want to take some of it off my hands? I don't know if I dare. You'll hardly make a dent in this either. It's a gift. Yeah. You can share with everyone. Let's let's get everybody involved. Good idea. Would you mind gathering everyone up? Oh my! Very intriguing. Everything is such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Akihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? <laughs> My parents have been good to me. I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Wow! When it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight. Glad to have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. He sure look good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata Senpai. Take whatever you want. Hey, this Kirija looks senpai. really good. What's that? Oh, going for that oh, one, huh? Like you get that for royalty. You have my thanks. That took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Hmm. I've really got to show my gratitude to my parents and to everyone here. Well. All this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past. Like, why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. I'm glad to hear it, Aki. Well, don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. The orphanage used to be something like this, too. We all lived under the same roof. Just having casual conversations. I'd forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. I remembered after you suggested we share with everyone. We should do it again sometime. It was fun. Tell that to my parents. I really gotta repay you in particular, though. Or we'll never be squared away. Alright, it's pretty late now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. There's something mixed in here. It's a letter and some sort of handcrafted object. It looks like a gold medal that's made of cardboard. What? Some kind of memento? Is there something there? This is... Is it yours? <sighs> this medal doesn't really belong to anyone. It's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader. And you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? It's all because of the bonds. It's some anime shit. Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? Bonds with others, huh? That might be something I'm missing. Well, whatever it is, you've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't going to help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger, but I'll do it my way. Sorry, we were supposed to be cleaning up. I'll take care of the rest. Things got so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. Okay, so we got Lux Tropical Fruit, Imperial Sweet Set, and Fresh Juice. I took Sonata's gesture of appreciation, then returned to my room. I feel like my charm has improved after seeing how Sonata cares for his parents. Nice, I was not expecting the charm. Bonus. I forgot to check that item that we got from Mitsuru for our grades. Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's prime time for a little beachside romance. You know, I bet other guys would kill to be in our shoes. After all, we're staying in the same dorm as three super cute girls. You think so too, right? Totally. <laughs> Who 
who cares? But if you want to be more than friends, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Kirija Senpai is top of the class, and student council president, you'd have to be an uber nerd for her to even give you the time of day. Yukatan's pretty popular too, you gotta be as stylin' as she is to be a good match. Fuka is, well, soft-spoken and kinda hard to grasp, so you might need to take the initiative with her, I guess. Anyways, keep this hush-hush between us, alright? Hey, bro talk stays bro talk. I know the rules. I uh, guess we'll get started. Solve it, coagula, or solve, rather. Your teacher has suddenly fallen ill, so I'll be filling in today. Sick on the last day before summer vacation that just shows shows you why you have to take good care of your health. <laughs> anyway, I'll be giving you all a crash course on alchemy, a branch of magic focused on, among other things, generating wealth. Oh, like the sound of that, do you? Of course, who among us would turn down free money? It's human nature to want what one lacks. There's no escaping it. So despite the lesson imparted to us by King Midas, humans have long sought a way to create precious metals for themselves. However, the alchemists of old were not so arrogant as to believe they could create gold by touching anything they pleased. Rather, they sought a process that allowed them to convert cheaper metals, such as iron or copper, into more lucrative ones. This goal is the pinnacle of alchemy given form, the Philosopher's Stone. Regardless of their incentive or their success, there is no denying that alchemists have made significant impacts in world history. The roots of alchemy originate in Hellenistic Egypt, when the city of Alexandria at, with the city of Alexandria at its center. As the Western Roman Empire fell, alchemy thrived in Arabia. Many of the Ar Arabic uh, alchemical texts written at the time have survived to this day. The earliest English translations of these texts brought the practice to medieval Europe, where alchemists gained both power and infamy. Also of note, there is a fascinating branch of Chinese alchemy called Wydon. These practitioners sought a working formula for an elixir of immortality, though rather than a recipe for gold. At any rate, the most important substance is the practice of alchemy is in the practice of alchemy is mercury, or quicksilver. It was thought that mer mercury could be used to form the Philosopher's Stone, which would in turn allow alchemists to generate gold. Alchemists endlessly toiled in their research using all sorts of equipment and experimental approaches. There are some who argue that if not for the alchemist trial and error, modern chemistry would not exist as we know it today. Unfortunately, there's no, no definitive proof that a Philosopher's Stone was ever successfully created. In a way, it's one of the greatest tragedies of human history. Moving on, alchemy has also been very influential in the field of psychology. Carl Jung, among others, recognized a kinship between alchemists and psychologists. Jung believed that psychotherapy could refine a mind to a stronger, healthier state, not unlike how the Philosopher's Stone was said to affect metals. Feeling sleepy? Nope, stay awake. As such. Which is why I think it's such a shame that mainstream society has given up on alchemy. Young adults ought to strive for unusual for unusual goals. It offers the best chance to lead exciting lives. And after all, from the perspective of our ancestors, modern science may as well be alchemy or magic. If you work hard enough, you may very well discover your own form of magic. That's it for now. Enjoy your summer, everyone. We gotta be getting close to Academics 5, though. We gotta be. Hey, you have a minute? It's about the track team. Since you just transferred, you probably haven't heard about the Mioho Cup, right? Well, let me tell you. On August 2nd, there's a major competition for track and field. There's this guy named Hayase. Total speed demon. We can't let him trounce us this year. Okay. We've got high hopes for you, so get ready to train hard. You got it, coach. I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Don't go skipping school now. I've got a special training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Competition's on August 2nd. Let's do this thing! Alright. Um, I should check and see how many people are missing in Tartarus right now. Have we gotten any so far? I kind of want to maybe wait until we get um, all three people in Tartarus before we go in, but we'll have to see. Today marks the end of the first term. Summer break begins tomorrow. Okay. So, let's see. We won't be able to do anything with Yukari quite yet. Looks like we're finally done with exams. That's a load off our shoulders, huh? By the way, are you heading home now? Okay, let's... Yeah. 
I think we have to have our charm maxed before we can do that, but... Oh, we got Yuko today, too. Honestly, I'm gonna leave Bunkichi, the old couple, for like a weekend, I think. Because we're gonna have a lot less to do on our weekends, and we have a lot of school day stuff that's probably better to do with students, so... Okay. Yeah, I just kind of want to confirm real quick that we can't start Yukari's social link yet. Uh, yeah, let's walk yeah. home together. Um, no thanks. Maybe next time. Sorry. I guess I'm just not in the mood. I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, I'm too ugly. I'm too ugly right now. It seems like there's something on Yukari's mind. If I want her to open up to me, I need to work on my charm. If I were charismatic, she might be willing to talk to me about her problems. Yeah, so all of our main party members amongst the uh, amongst the girls, you gotta max out a stat for them. So, Yukari's charm, Fuka is um, what's the other one? <laughs> Why can't I think of it right now? Man, my brain. Courage, and Mitsuru is obviously academics. She'll be the last one that we're able to get. Oh, hey, Vernacoon. Exams are finally over, huh? Congrats on surviving. Now we have time to do whatever we want to oh, do. That's right. Oh, yeah. Those kids have really been getting on my case about this whole coaching thing. The track's open since there's no practice today, so I'm wondering if I should just do it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to ask the teacher for permission to use the track then. I'll see you at the field. Counting on you, coach. Straighten your back. And don't forget to swing your arms. Guess what, guess what? I beat Yuki-chan! I swung my arms really hard, just like you said! Whoa, seriously? That's amazing! Okay, next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! I don't think those are good running Phew. shoes, kid. She's I wearing did a sandals. Lot of research on this. So I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? That is a good outlook to have, girl. Respect, Yuko. I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say, though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Honestly, it's because you teach so well. I don't know about that. No, you're good at this shit. you say so, it does make me feel like I can do anything. Ugh, oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh! Uh, thousand Demon Sprint! <sighs> okay, one more round. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. It's your age, you need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Hmm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. Hmm. You're the one who did the research. You're the expert. I trust whatever you decide, Yuko. You'll make the right choice. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research yeah, on how she to heard me. training yourself. <laughs> all right, listen up. She heard me. <laughs> I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Auntie Coach, you're on fire. Auntie Coach. Uh, this this social link is so heartwarming. I love it so much. It's so good. What did you just call me? <laughs> All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Auntie Coach. Okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? 
like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Yuko is starting to trust me more. I feel like our relationship has grown. Strength is now at rank five. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. I practiced with the children until the sun went down. I should head back to the dorm. Shinji again? Takaya again. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <sighs> Your pills. I noticed, once again, that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <sighs> It is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah? Well, they're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. My name is Kenamata. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try not to be a bother, so please don't mind me. Alright, now we have a child in our dorm. <laughs> it's just getting more crowded, isn't it? Come to think of it, the taiyaki I put in the fridge should be chilled by now. I should get it from the fridge and give it to Elizabeth. Hello there. Data regarding the newest resident, Ken Amada-san, has been logged. I am able to communicate with him at any time. Please leave it to me. Alright, what, are you the designated babysitter now, I guess? Um... Oh, hi! I think Amada-kun would get upset if he heard me saying this, but don't you think he's kind of adorable? Isn't he kind of precocious? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so great about him. It's kind of like having a little brother. Oh, right. He'll be staying at the dorm, but remember, he's not a member of C's, so be very careful what you say around him. And don't talk with him about anything regarding shadows. Not bad. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be super easy for us to hide that shit from him when literally all of us are gonna, like, disappear a couple times a month. Just one little kid stuck living with a bunch of high schoolers. Well, I suppose it's not the worst thing to happen. Vernacular, try to make an effort being nice to the kid. Oh, hey, Vernak son. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ken Amata. That's, uh, Ken, written with the characters for Dry. I just moved into the dorm. I'll be staying here for the summer. Uh, uh Amata, huh? Man, he's still in elementary school. Man, that's really young. I don't know what it is about that kid, but my Junpei senses are going crazy around him. What does that even mean, Junpei? Either he's a little punk or he's way more mature than I am. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is it just me? He's just more mature than you. <laughs> hey! You don't think Amada-kun is going to end up getting involved in all this, do you? Absolutely not. He won't. Thanks. Okay, I feel a little better about it now. Thanks. There's absolutely no way he'll get involved. No way. The lukewarm Taiyaki I put inside here earlier is sufficiently chilled. 
Come to think of it, Elizabeth said she wanted some chilled taiyaki. I should bring this chilled taiyaki to her. All right. So the lukewarm taiyaki didn't really have any benefits. The chilled taiyaki restores 100 HP to one ally. And it costs, didn't it only cost like 300 yen? So yeah, if you did that like every single day, that's probably the most cost-effective 100 HP item. So that's not bad. Can I put another one in? All right, maybe let's bring the first one to her and then we'll see if we can put another one in. Also, what day is this stuff done? Oh, okay. I must have forgotten that at some point. There seems to be a new recording. Okay, should I watch the video? Yeah. 7-15-2009. Starting playback. Yep, this isn't a violation. It looks like Fuka's room. Not a violation at all. Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the one-piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit, but there wasn't much of a selection for the one pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! Frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show. It oh, said online no. it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. Oh, Tanaka got another one. The scams. I'm sorry, girl. It's not gonna do anything for you. It's a scam. Now let's see. Uh, how do I turn this on? Uh, no, this. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> no. Okay, she's gonna die like this. this Yamagishi, do you have a moment? It's <laughs> curious. <laughs> I have to get the door. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right, the line delivery is on point. Oh. You know what? Maybe it's not a scam. Maybe it's not a scam. It, if what it does is it tickles you and it locks itself in place so that you can't remove it and then you start laughing, that actually would work out your abs pretty good. I mean, it might work. All right. All right, Tanaka. Maybe I judge too soon. All right. These recordings are a crime. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw that out here. And us watching them is a violation of trust. <laughs> the door is tightly sealed. I wonder if it's a storage room. Um, all right. Let's see. Okay, tomorrow the sodas will replenish. Let's see, what else? Um, okay, we need to go and see Elizabeth.
No social links tonight, so we'll work on a stat. Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed a request. So this is the chilled taiyaki. Well, it certainly is cold. You have my thanks. It has a soft, chewy texture and such cute round eyes. I shall savor every bite. Please take this as your reward. Okay, Nihil cloth. Honestly, I may go and see what I can make with that. Okay. Everything that's left is going to be dungeon stuff. And there's nothing left with deadlines. Very well, then. Okay, we've got 12 days left. Do we have anybody missing right now? Oh, wait. No, that was the 7-6 deadlines. We haven't gotten any new ones. Okay, so I might want to wait a little bit. Did you forget? In that case, I'll head on home if you don't show up soon. Do not reply to this message. Please contact us through the official inquiry portal. Oh, he is out here. Okay. Uh, maybe we will do Tanaka then. Yeah. Oh? Well, if it isn't vernacular, I can teach you a life lesson that you won't want to miss. And it's even free of charge. Okay. Let's do it. I see. Then for today, I have a story that's fresh off the press. I'm used to being accosted by people, but... Recently, I had an interesting encounter. It was a young man, not much older than you. Do you know what he said to me? He said, thank you. Why would he say that to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. <laughs> you must have misheard. You must have. It's the only explanation. I thought the same thing, so <laughs> I asked him to repeat himself. But, sure enough, that's what he said. I was shocked someone would actually thank me for selling fake products. But then, he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public prosecutor. <laughs> oh. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. He said I was an example of a negative role model, even though I wasn't aware of it. Brilliant. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? You know, maybe he will. In Persona 5, you kind of are running a shady, um, you know, a shady website because I don't think, <laughs> I don't think your, uh, business is legit anymore. I suppose that means I wouldn't be able to give you my advice anymore. Stuck on the dark web. President Tanaka looks torn. Oh, the poor man. I understand him a little better now. Rank 8 and Devil. My shareholders ought to take a leaf out of that boy's book. Apparently, it's these days aren't as naive as we thought. It's getting late. I'll go back to the dorm. Okay, is this when we start practice? Summer vacation begins today. Or is it tomorrow? It might be tomorrow that we start track practice. Almost time for the home shopping show. Yeah, so it must be tomorrow. Okay, doing it the whole week. Okay, and Operation Day is coming up, so we're gonna have to go into Tartarus and start doing stuff here. Hello everyone, welcome to the Home Shopping Show, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices, so don't touch that dial, because you won't want to miss these. I'm going to do it! Today we're introducing part two of the designer brand set. It was so popular the first time around that we brought it back better than good, ever. Good. First up, we have the brand wallet. Not only is it stylish, it makes the perfect gift. 
Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. We'll throw in this perfume too. Guess how many? One. All of this just for 69.80 yen. This is a special limited product available today only. You heard right, today only. You know what, sure. I very rarely have to use gifts, but why not? Thanks, kid. Next time, we'll be introducing an assorted summer drink set. Don't miss it. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Sorry, Bye -bye. folks. We'll see you next Sunday. Same time, same channel. Okay. Let's talk to people out here in the lobby. Um. I guess Son is a robot, right? You really can't tell whenever she wears normal clothes like we do. The Kirijo group must be super powerful to have invented a robot like her. Okay, nothing new with anybody else. Alright, and I keep forgetting to check on this. So let's see, the Mega Master Band is the new one that we got. All stats plus three. Okay, and the Land Badge does what? Gives you Regenerate? Okay. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give you the all stats plus three. Who should have Regenerate? Probably one of my healers. Anything that keeps them alive. So she's got Endurance plus five. A tank is not bad to have some passive healing, especially one that uses uh, HP attack abilities. So what do you got right now? A power band, strength plus one? Okay, we can do better than that, for sure. Yeah, we'll give you the regenerate. I don't know what her different uniform looks like. That'll be fun to see. We're gonna find out pretty soon. Um, okay. So, it looks like we could finish the old couple. We could also do Moon today. Probably gonna do the old couple. So that's probably what we're gonna start the next episode on. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.